Hi guys, in this video we're going to do a quick overview of PowerPoint. I'm going to show you where all the major stuff is in this program so you can get started with your presentation. Okay, it's really not a difficult program to learn. It's actually quite fun to learn once you get into it. But I know initially people, when they don't know the structure of a program, it's they're kind of reticent to jump right in. So this video should give a, uh, an overview and then you can maybe move on to more advanced topics. So let's just do a run through. Over the top over here in Microsoft programs, you got this these ribbons going, right? These are you know the the home ribbon, the insert ribbon, design animation, slideshow, review, and view. Okay, you may have slightly different ribbons up there, but everyone has the home insert design animation slideshow. And those are the five major ones in PowerPoint. Let's start with the home and let's look at the general structure of the, the layout of a uh, PowerPoint uh, when you just start. Okay, so here down the left side you have your slides. Okay, so this slide right here is a miniature thumbnail, if you will, of this slide that I'm working on over here. So if I title this new presentation, okay you can see it's also typing it over here okay so the way you add a new slide is under the home ribbon new slide you can just click the over here or you can click down here and actually simultaneously insert a new slide with a certain theme okay I like to start with blank or if I know exactly what I want maybe I just want the one with the title at the top so it'll insert it in you see slide one slide two over here right so I go to slide two and I'm over here so this let's just call this for argument sake slide two of my presentation right and you could see I could flip through slide one and slide two right now I could add another slide let's start let's add a blank one you see since I was on the first slide and I added a new slide it slipped the slide in between these two slides okay I can also delete a slide delete a slide from the left side just click on the slide and hit delete not backspace delete okay so now I'm down to two slides right I'm just gonna add a third one I'm gonna click on the second one and add a blank one so it'll add it after the second one so I have three slides here and let's say I want to add a picture onto this one okay so which will transition us into the next ribbon here before I move from the home ribbon to the the insert ribbon okay I want to just maybe touch on these other uh, uh, options you have here on the home ribbon basically the stuff you're used to seeing in Microsoft Word Excel if you're used to that okay it's the fonts it's the uh, you know alignment of of text. It's adding shapes. You know over here we can add shapes. That's always fun, right? And all the the options of all those things are over here. Okay, so this is stuff you should be used to. This is the quintessential. What we covered in this section of the home ribbon is the quintessential PowerPoint section of this ribbon, the home ribbon. Okay. So let's go over to the insert ribbon now. This has a lot of useful stuff. Sometimes, let's say we'll go to slide three, click over here on the left. Sometimes you want to add a table, right? You want to have some data. You can choose the dimensions of your table, and you see it's previewing it over here on the slide. And you can add a table, and you can begin to type inside, right? Column one, and so forth, right? You can also actually insert a live Excel spreadsheet, okay, in this using the same uh, under table. And the way you do that is just select that uh, Excel spreadsheet. It takes a second, but what it's doing is it's embedding an Excel spreadsheet. You see this if you used to, if you if you've used Excel before, you'll you'll be quite familiar with this. So I have a live spreadsheet basically and look I have a formula bar here and everything. You know, I could do work in here as if I as if this was I was opened in Excel. And then when I'm done with this, I can just click anywhere else on the slide and this will turn into a rather uh, 
more uh, you know aesthetically pleasing looking table for my presentation okay and then maybe you want to do some stuff to this and once you select this you could go over here to format and by clicking there you know you could choose different formats for your table right and you could also maybe adjust the size of the font by going over to the home ribbon and highlighting things right so this is all things you can do I don't want to go into the details of this but you should know that you can embed an Excel spreadsheet into a PowerPoint presentation like this okay now let's add another slide we go to home new slide let's add a blank one let's go back to the insert ribbon and continue we can add a picture click on picture and PowerPoint will allow us to search our computer and we can just find some pictures and throw them onto our presentation okay so how about a picture of the great astronomer okay so this was a picture from my file I just found it use from insert picture and I added it okay and you could resize it once it's in here make it bigger smaller move it around okay you may even be able to drag it onto a different slide move a slide around and so forth okay that's how you add a picture that's a key one because everyone needs pictures here is clip art which I'm not going to go into right and shapes all bunch of stuff charts text box is important text box let's say I want to write here you know uh, slide four right I need to first insert a text box because it's not like a document where I could just type anywhere first I have to always insert text box draw the text box start typing then click off click on when I want to edit anything resize it move it around I could even spin it around and do all kinds of fun stuff with it I encourage you to play around with things like this okay now that you know where it is okay so that's a text box that's very important next we can add hitter footer word art this is all stuff that you might or might not be familiar with with word less often used so I'm not gonna go into that stuff I'm just trying to hit the highlights here third thing I'd like to cover is adding a movie here you can add a movie from a file so just like we added a picture you could find your movie right and you can for example I can add one of my tutorial videos that I've done recently this might take a second so I want it to be played access I mean PowerPoint will tell how ask me how do you want the movie to start in the slideshow so I can say play it automatically when the slide starts or I can say when I click on the video okay I might want control when I'm doing the presentation so I'll click when clicked okay now I probably need to resize this because it looks like it's much bigger than my slide okay so I can just what I did was I zoomed it out using down here if you see where I'm at okay and I zoomed out I resized and then I'll just zoom back into the size I want to work in okay so this video when I do my presentation will play when I click on it okay so this is a video file here I've inserted into Excel I mean into PowerPoint okay this is a picture this is text this is video uh, third, uh, fourth thing you might want to add is music so under insert sound okay you can add sound from a file a music an mp3 file or power I know clip art has some options with sound but here you would just say sound from file find your music it'll add it'll ask you again like the movie do you want me to play this automatically when the slide comes up on the presentation or do you want me to play it when it's clicked again maybe I want to choose when click because I want to have more control it gives me this little symbol here and maybe I'll drag that on the corner 
if when I click that during the presentation, it'll actually play that MP3 file that I that I uh, uh, chose. Okay. So on this slide four, we got a lot of stuff. We got picture, movie, and sound. All right. All stuff that's really important and uh, will come up in your presentations. So that's the insert ribbon for you. We added a table. We added pictures. We added movies. We added um, music. And we also, if you remember earlier in slide one, we actually added uh, sh uh, like uh, shapes. So we've also done that too, and that's pretty easy and fun. Okay. So I encourage you to play with that stuff. Let's go to home, add a new slide, and you see we're on our fifth slide already here. We can move slides around by grabbing them and pulling them around. All right. So that's useful. We can also delete them. Remember we did that, and let's go over to the to the third ribbon, design ribbon. Here is where you're gonna, with one click, make your presentation look very professional, and it gives you a bunch of preset themes. And if you hover over these themes, you can get a little preview of what your presentation is gonna look like if you choose these themes. And these really will make your slideshow look very professional. And you can play around with these, have fun with them. There's a bunch to choose from. I'm just going to choose one and you see, just to give you an idea of what it does basically it gives a nice theme to everything I've done okay and it looks very un unified throughout the presentation and it gives it a nice touch okay you have further control here you can mess with the colors if you have uh, you know if you want to fine tune this I can even keep the same theme but maybe change my colors I can change fonts here themes theme wise so I do it once here and it does it to the entire presentation that's real powerful and time saving I can add effects here you should just play with this stuff it's quite fun it's not that difficult and if you don't like it you can just change it. okay so that's the design ribbon so I encourage you to play with that as well next let's go to the animations ribbon moving right along here you're going to be able to do custom animations on objects in your slides okay as well as font so people that have people if you have seen nice PowerPoint presentations have font flying in or or uh, maybe uh, appearing out of nowhere disappearing flying in and out okay this is where it's done you could highlight the objects that you're interested in animating you click on custom animation and then over here you can add effects entrance effects right emphasis effects exit effects and motion paths I encourage you to play with these they're all fun and easy to use I'll just show you one a fly-in so you see it gave me a little preview okay so I added a fly-in effect on this text over here all right if I add a let's say let's make it box it'll preview that okay so play with this stuff okay and you can and you can animate each thing on a slide separately and the, you can control the order that's a whole different tutorial altogether I just want to present this to you so you know what's out there what tools you have okay so that's the purpose the purpose of this video is just a uh, high level presentation okay now back to the animations ribbon in the center portion here we have transitions now transitions are how one slide goes to the next slide okay so transitions go between slides so if you select slide 2 you can select the transition like uh, this one dissolve and so this is how slide 2 will show up you can also use white transitions you can play around with all these and I encourage you to do so and you can choose different transitions for each slide and you know this will make your presentation look a lot cooler so play with these th things okay so again transitions is how one slide transitions to the next okay and you can fine-tune these things with these options over here on the right okay and that's pretty much the animations ribbon in PowerPoint now, the last ribbon I want to talk about, last important ribbon in PowerPoint, is the slideshow ribbon. And this one basically is where, when you're ready to view your presentation, whether the final 
presentation when you're in front of the, your class or in front of a conference or whether you're just doing it on your own to see how it looks to preview it this is where you'll come so here you can select from beginning and it will pre it'll, you can see your presentation from the beginning now for purposes of this capture uh, I can't use this option because it opens it in a new window but here the screen will go full screen and you'll see your presentation without any of these things on the side that we have over here just the slides okay here you can choose to view the presentation from the current slide and here you have some other options one thing I'd like to mention which is quite important is sometimes people like to set their presentation to play automatically okay and here is where the options are for that so basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna take you through your presentation and give you control like kind of like a stopwatch where you can say next slide and X and PowerPoint will record how many seconds each piece is played and you can determine that on your own and this way it'll record it and when you play it it'll play it automatically right on all the way through you don't even have to be there okay sometimes people need this sometimes they don't want this they want full control with the mouse at the time of the presentation okay so I think I went through about 80% of PowerPoint. The, the, the remaining 20% are the nitty gritty stuff that will take many more videos to cover, but I can go into a lot more detail on all the stuff that I did today uh, in subsequent videos. So I hope you got a good understanding of how to use the program. You can jump in, play around, get your hands dirty and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of tutorial videos on Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, I'm gonna do more on PowerPoint and I also do math tutorials. If you subscribe you get the most recent videos directly without having to search around and watch different people's interpretations and tutorials. So if you like my style make sure to subscribe and we'll go into more detail with all these subjects. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Make sure to comment and practice, practice, practice. Have a great day.